Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last New York vlog when we went at the end of August, or if you follow me on Instagram and saw these stories at the time, you would know that I forgot to pack for myself. I was like so stressed about packing for Arky that I just didn't pack properly for myself, which is not good. So now we leave in like a week, a little bit over a week, and I wanna make sure that I'm picking outfits and packing properly for myself now, and then I'll worry about Arky a little bit closer because it was so much easier to pack for him. And now we're actually gonna be driving down, so we're gonna have our car. I don't have to worry about like how to bring things on a plane and everything like that, so I'm excited. I just got out of the shower. If you're wondering why my hair is wet, I'm sure you understand. So last time my mom came with us, but we took a plane so we just all brought our own suitcases and she had her own hotel room. This time around we booked an Airbnb. We figured it'd be easier just to have a kitchen so we could cook and bring Arky's high chair and like just make it easier that way. Because at the hotel like you get the little mini fridge and it was just tough always having to eat out. Like I like having the option to be able to like make breakfast or uh, make dinner and eat at home. And because we're driving, we have limited space in the trunk because we're four people in a car going to New York. We're going from a Thursday to a Monday, but Thursday and Monday are like driving days. It's basically, it's like seven hours away, six or seven hour drive. So, and we're gonna be stopping more and giving Arky a break and stuff. So it's definitely gonna be an all day thing. So we're really only there for three days, but I wanna do some Christmas content. I wanna get some photos. I wanna dress cute. We're in New York City during the holidays. It's like my favorite time to be in New York and I cannot wait. So I want to pick outfits for myself. I don't know when this video is going up but the other day on instagram i did like a stories of you guys helping me pick an outfit for my baby shower not my baby shower my friend's baby shower and that was so fun and you guys really seemed to like it like a lot of you said you should i should do this more often so i thought that i'm definitely gonna do that on stories more often when i have like events and stuff or i need to get changed but i also want to incorporate it on youtube so i'm going to like throw some outfits together and you guys can let me know what you think if you think that some of them like look ridiculous or if you think i'm packing too much it's been a while since I've like thought about myself when you have a kid you get it like you kind of take a step back But it's important to practice self-care and one of my self cares and one of my passions is fashion It's always been and it just makes me happy to like wear a cute outfit take cute pictures I love being able to not just post them on social media But get them printed use them in calendars or in photo albums One of my favorite things is to look back at photos um, from when I was a child and there's so many pictures of like me and my mom doing activities and I feel like I've been getting into a rut of like just taking content of Arky and like just taking pictures of him and I'm not really in a lot of the photos and I want to be in them for his for him to be able to look back and be like oh that's a picture with my mom or that's a picture with my dad look at us together at the Rockefeller Center or looking at the Rockefeller tree or in Central Park during the holidays the reason why my mom's coming with us again is because she was such an amazing help last time and we go there purposely like mainly this is not a business trip it's leisure we're going there mainly to see my friends we saw Tess Pat and Julia last time but Kara and and Carrie were away and I have not seen them since before COVID. So I was literally pregnant the last time I saw them. So I really want to see them. I want them to meet Arky. The issue is when it's just Dan, me and Arky, once it's bedtime, we got to go home. And then Dan and I were like, we're only there for like Friday night, Saturday night, really like Sunday night, I guess, but most people work Monday. So we won't really have like a night to, to hang out and just like be adults. Um, of course our friends have a baby as well so like we get it but it would be nice to be able to have a little bit of freedom like if last time what ended up happening was my mom took our key and put him to bed and like kind of babysat and then dad and i got to stay and like hang out and talk and like have dinner with them and stuff and that was really fun so we wanted to do that again this is really long <laughs> but i'm trying to explain everything because we were debating on leaving Arky here with my parents and just the two of us going obviously would be easier that way it would be cheaper but i said you know what i really love new york during this time of year I want to experience it with Arky. I want to show him the big tree. I want to go to Central Park with him. I just think it would be like fun for him to do more of a road trip. We did the four hour or five hour one to Charlevoix and like he did amazing on that. So we know he's pretty good, but he's also getting older and like going through a growth spurt and going through a developmental leap with his emotions. And he doesn't know like how to handle things and like tantrums. He doesn't have them that often, but like when they happen, it's like dad and I can definitely handle it, but it's 
nice to have an extra set of hands. And my mom was like totally on board. Like I asked her, I'm like, would you rather stay here in Montreal or go to New York? And she was like, uh, obviously go to New York. <laughs> so this is it. And this is what we're doing. Uh, I'm so excited, but we got to dress warm. The weather is similar to here right now, actually. For some reason in Montreal, it's like warmer than the rest of Canada. Like Toronto, it's snowing. <laughs> here it's not. So I'm going to pack for like similar-ish weather, but I also don't want to overpack because like I said, we don't have that much room in our car. We have one trunk. We're not gonna be bringing his stroller because he never sits in it. My mom is like terrified of not having a stroller because she's like, the streets of New York, what if he gets like, runs off or something? But I said, worst case scenario, if we need one, we can buy like a really like cheap one in the, in the city. He just like is over the stroller. He like screams if we put him in there. So I'm like, why would I bring this huge thing that he's not even gonna sit in? Okay, I laid out my selects for my trip. And I also wanna talk about this ring because over here, so you can see better. I actually lost my uh, wedding band. I know it's really sad. <laughs> like two weeks ago, I've been wearing like different rings, but from Missouri, they had a ring identical to my wedding band. So I'm gonna take it off and I'll show you guys, but that's what I've been wearing every day since. So this is the band that I have. It's diamond. It's completely identical to the one I had. I'm so happy they have that. And this is called the Diamonds Team Ring. I got it in a size six. And I want to say thank you to Missouri for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've been working with them for the past few months and I'm so happy with all the selects. Last month I gifted my friend all of her favorites and this time I decided to choose things that I wanted to wear to New York. So happy when I saw this because um, like I said I lost my wedding band and I was so sad about it but now I can put it on my finger and wear it. So the three necklaces I got, the first one is this uh, bold herringbone chain necklace. I think it's so pretty for layering. It sits right below my neck, so it's a really pretty kind of like first layer to the necklace. And then I got the um, bold link chain necklace, and that one goes a lot lower. I definitely wanted something with like different texture and stuff, and this is so beautiful. I wore it to my friend's baby shower and got so many compliments on it, and like a lot of people are asking me where I got it, so I'm happy with that. And then I also got this beautiful chain um, Taurus necklace. I am not a Taurus, but Arky is, and I wanted to kind of like rep his sign on me. Look how sparkly this chain is. It's so beautiful and delicate. I love the chains from Missouri. I think they're so nice. And then also what's really awesome is they give you an option to change the length of the chain. So you can have it either to be shorter, medium, or a lot longer. So you have three options for the length of the necklace, which is really nice. I'll have everything linked down below. And if you use any of my links, you um, can get 10% off your entire order. And then I got two different types of hoops. So the first ones are the tube hoops. I love these. I think they're just such a classic. They're super lightweight. They don't weigh your ears down at all. And I think they're gonna be really nice layered with my other earrings. And then the last ones I got are a lot bigger. Again, they weigh nothing. My friend in her last video got the medium ones of these and I was obsessed so I wanted to get the large ones. These are the oversized thin hoops. They're really easy to put on and take off like that. I just love them. I think it's gonna be so pretty to layer these with like small hoops next to it because I have like three piercings on each ear. Um, you guys know I wear this necklace every day. It's Arky's name necklace. Um, it was a gift, so I don't know where it's from, but I never take it off. I'm wearing the two chain necklaces and then I would also layer this one like close to his name because then it goes together. Oh, I think that's so pretty. I love this. And then picture a sweater underneath. I think that'd be like really nice to layer. As for the earrings right now, I'm wearing these two Missouri ones, which I got last time, but I'll do like one on each so you could see what it looks like, like the difference between the two hoops. Oh, that's so pretty. So you have this one like that. That one like that. They both equally feel like I'm not wearing any earrings. Like they're not heavy at all. I love... Oh, I think these are so nice. So like I said, I will have links in my description to the exact ones if you want to shop any of these. And um, if you shop through my links, you get 10% off at checkout, your entire purchase. So yay. I recently organized my closet. This just makes me happy. It's like pretty much color coordinated. I don't have very many colors in here as you can see. Um, this is all my sweaters and flannels and stuff. A lot of my shirts are folded in my drawers and then under here I have like workout things. I have jeans and pants. I'm gonna just take out a few things. So I have this really oversized zip sweater which you can have it zipped all the way up or just zip it down. It's really soft, really comfortable. I have yet to actually wear it so I thought that New York would be like 
like the perfect time to wear this. And I was thinking of either like white jeans or something or even like a light like silk skirt that would just pop out at the bottom and then wearing like high boots. I think that would be a really cute outfit, maybe some tights or whatever. Um, and then like a hat. It's a lot of nude, but that's kind of like the vibe I'm going for. I want to have like an all nude moment in New York. So let me know what you think about this sweater and if you think I should do like white pants, like either faux leather white leggings, like pleather or whatever it's called, or white jeans, a little silk skirt that pops out on the bottom, because this is quite long. This like goes pretty much to like here. So if I had a skirt that kind of popped out to add some texture and like dimension, and then I'd have, you know, knee high boots or something with that and like a little hat and then obviously a jacket. I don't know if I would do like, probably would just bring one jacket and that's my white one. So it's gonna be a lot of white, but yeah, I think that would be a cute look. I know it'd probably be cold in a skirt, but maybe I can like wear it for a picture and then like put the pants on on top. I'm not sure. Okay, the next thing is this really cute cable knit sweater. I showed this on my story too. Um, it has this built-in collar, which I think is really pretty. And I honestly think this would be cute with a skirt too, but I just want to bring too many skirts because it's not really feasible to like wear a skirt around New York City. But the reason why I'm thinking of packing this is because I got this for Arky. It's a cable knit sweater, although it is a bit of a different color. I still think it would be cute if Arky, me, and Dan wore cable knit sweaters with like black pants and black boots. So that is the reason why I'm thinking of bringing this. I got this from H&M. This is from Naked Fashion. Either like knee high boots over the leggings or I'd wear like docks. They're like the combat ones. And then Arky would wear his black leggings with his Doc Martens as well. Arky's definitely matches more on Dan's, but I think it would be fun for me to be a bit of a different color. And then Dan would wear this with black jeans and his like YSLs. He has these black shoes. They're really nice. I think that would be really, really cute for a family picture. But what do you guys think? Is that like too matchy, like kind of cheesy or is that fun to have like cheesy photos like that? I always like looking back on the cheesy photos with my family. So I think it would be cute, but let me know your thoughts. Okay, for the next one, I'm thinking of doing an outfit like this. I know it's a lot of neutrals, <laughs> but I have this new top that I got from Reformation as well as these new pants also from Reformation. And I think it would be really cute with a jacket and some booties or even some uh, sneakers like just my white sneakers I think would be cute it's still casual but it's more elevated with these but I could also wear my docks with them because I'm already gonna be bringing them so I have like three daytime outfits but one of them could be like a nighttime chill outfit I mean all of them I guess could be worn at nighttime too I'm just I'm not going out I'm not going to like anything fancy another option is to have this gray sweater with high-waisted denim jeans and then like a green hat like that I think would be cute with a bomber jacket if I can like fold it really small and fit it in the suitcase because again I can wear this with sneakers I can wear it with my docks booties like anything and something quite high-waisted and I'm not sure if I should do blue or black so let me show you well this is more of like a corduroy pant these are from where are these from BDG so I think that's a Urban Outfitters brand these are so old by the way this hat is from H&M I got the other day and then this I think is jolly, but it's old. So I would either do these pants with this or just keep it to the regular high-waisted denim with that. I actually think I'm leaning more towards this with a black bomber jacket, I think would be fun. And maybe a scarf. I don't know, what do you guys think of like the natural blue denim with that? I definitely like wanna have an extra outfit as option in case I'm not feeling one of the other ones. I'm not sure. Or maybe I, should I go to the mall and look for some new things? I think these outfits are quite cute, honestly. Most probably wear the same jacket with all of them, except for this one, I would bring like a bomber jacket. Cause I, I don't think a bomber jacket would look cute with any of these, but it would look really cute with these. Like a really puffy bomber jacket or like a really, I don't know. I'm just, I have this like vision in my head. Shoes wise would be Doc Martens, like the regular combat boots with some white sneakers as an option. And then maybe some black booties or black knee high boots, something like this, like riding boots. This is what I have to decide on because th this takes up the most room, but it would be so cute with this outfit. I'm not the kind of person that can walk a lot in heels. So I don't want to wear really high heels to walk around the city. Like I'd rather have flats. 
these are the options so far. Let me know what you think between these two. I think I'm leaning more towards this, honestly. But at the same time, this outfit is also like, I'd be wearing dark, well, I'd be wearing leggings, but like dark with that. Why is it so hard to pick outfits? People don't care normally, but like I care. <laughs> like no one's really gonna be looking at me, but I'm gonna be looking at me. Do you know what I mean? Also like how cute would this be with like some gold jewelry, gold accents? I think that'd be so pretty. Okay, on to toiletries. Let's put this over here so I don't ruin my clothes. <laughs> so I bring this every time I travel. This was gifted to me from a Revolve event. It's from Benefit, but it's from like 2018 or something. But I love this because it keeps so much stuff in here. So I was actually going through this the other day with Arky, but it's awesome because you can like hang it up on the door, keeps everything together. So I have a bunch of makeup that's like my everyday type of makeup or even some more glam. I love bringing things like this because it's just easy like it's bronzer with highlight, but I could also use the bronzer as like an eyeshadow, but I decided man, maybe I will do some like actual makeup looks. We'll see. We'll see if I actually have time for that. But I like this palette. It has so many options, so many colors. So that's a great one. Have my primer, eyelid primer, eyebrow stuff, blush. This is such a beautiful color. Look at that. It's so nice. This is Sin from NARS, travel setting spray, some foundation. This one, it's very liquidy and I don't always use foundation. Sometimes I'll just wear concealer with a bit of like setting powder. Pretty good option. Where? Oh, this is my concealer that I use, the NARS creamy concealer. It's so good. Um, some lip products, mascara, setting powder from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, yeah, I pretty much have everything. Where's my lip liner? I don't see it. Oh, it's right here. Makeup, we're good. I have everything that I need. Great thing about this is I could just leave it in for like the next time I travel. Okay, on to actual toiletries. So, hi, Arky. Uh, hi. Uh, what you doing? Uh, Brushing your teeth? Uh, wow. We're putting filters in the vents. Oh my goodness. So I have my deodorant from Native, some dry shampoo in case, you know, I'm not gonna really be washing my hair there, but you never know. Um, I do have this travel shampoo and conditioner that was sent to me a while ago. I have the travel Gizu hair oil, my face wash. This is my travel face wash. I bring it everywhere. I got a little brush in case I do brush my hair. Razor, toothpaste, toothbrush. Got some hair elastics that are tiny. If I want to do any kind of like braids or hair looks, I got some floss. This is heat protectant spray. I most probably will bring my straightener. And then I also have my favorite cream of all time from La Roche Posay. I have to add sunscreen, like face sunscreen, but I use that every day. So I'm only gonna pack it like the morning of because I only have one. Then I have like hand cream. Am I missing anything? I'm probably gonna add my jewelry, like all of my jewelry, I have like a travel case for it and I'll probably add it here, like not in it. I'll just put it on top and then like close that. So I have all my makeup brushes here. What I'll probably do is just like wash them and then put them in the container like this. I used to have a travel kit for them, but I lost it in the move. I don't know where it is. Oh, I am forgetting something. My little travel perfume thing. I got this so long ago and I just, what you do is like you take off the little cap of your perfume and then just fill this up with like your current perfume. That's what I'm gonna do. God, it's so dusty. I feel like I'm dusting this like every day. Ugh. I think I'll do Wild Fig and Cassis. Cassis, Cassis, it's almost empty. I usually wear this in New York, so it's like my New York scent, but I've been wearing this a ton from Jo Malone. This is the Fig and Lotus Flower. It smells really similar, but also really good. But this was kind of like my fall scent, and now I want to do more like Christmas in New York. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking definitely Wild Fig and Cassis. I have the travel container, but it's like almost empty as well. Maybe I'll fill up, I don't know. I also wore this a lot in New York, but I feel like everyone wears this perfume. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards Wild Fig and Cassis. I love it, it's such a good scent. You just take off the little like squirt thing on top and then you see how there's like a thing at the bottom there. You just kind of push it in and then it sprays to it. I'm gonna add a bit more, but now you got perfume and then you just can throw it in your purse, bring it on the go. So what I'm gonna do, cause I don't wanna put these in the suitcase like a week before, cause they're just gonna get all folded and like wrinkly and stuff. So what I'll do is, these are the leggings I'm gonna wear with that shirt. These are the potential pants. 
haven't decided that yet. Um, and then I'll keep these hung up in my closet in like a separate section. Now you know what I mean. So this right here is like my New York section. I have my makeup ready to go right there with my brushes. And then over here, I put the pants and hat. As for shoes, I'm gonna do that like the morning of because I still wear my shoes. What I'm gonna do is set a reminder in my phone right now for like the day before our trip. We leave in December. We're gonna do the day before my trip and the day of my trip. I'm going to put two reminders, pack your clothes, pack your makeup, pack your jewelry, pack your shoes right now. That's literally what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna forget you. And then as for Arky stuff, I'll do that like closer to the date because he still uses like everything and it's easier to pack for him. It's small so I could just like throw stuff in. I don't have to like plan outfits cause it's just easy to pack for a baby. The one thing I wanna remember to bring is the cable knit sweater so we can like take that family photo. Wow, I feel like my hair is like almost completely dry now. The time it took me to do all that, my hair is like, this is my natural hair, by the way. It's just like a nice little wave. I kind of wanted to go darker before New York. What do you guys think? Should I do it? I don't know. That's what I'm feeling for this video. I might go to the mall and get a few things. Maybe if I feel like switching my outfits, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Or if you like any of the outfits, let me know. Let me know if I should bring like the skirt. I need to pick that up at the mall actually. So it's like a satin skirt or if I should just wear like white pants or what your vibe is. I saw like a TikTok outfit and I thought it was really pretty. So I wanted to like take inspiration from that and do it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really am hoping I don't forget to pack for myself, but I feel like I'm better prepared this time. And also Arky's older, so we don't need as many things for him. Check out the links down below for the jewelry. Like I said, if you use my links, you get 10% off your entire purchase. Thanks again to Missouri for sponsoring today's video. I love their stuff. I'm a huge fan of their jewelry. So it's just really, it means a lot when I get to work with brands that I love to work with. And again, thank you so much for being so um, supportive over like the ads that I've been doing lately because there's always so many at this time of year because there's like so many things like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, holidays. There's just a lot of sponsorships that happen at this time of year so it's like keeps me really busy but it also you know helps you're helping to support my family this, this is how I make my money so thank you so much for supporting us and I love you and I'll see you all in my next video bye and yes I will be vlogging in New York and guess what guys we are doing vlogmas this year we're not going to be doing it every day but probably every weekday so there will be vlogmas I'm so excited